Hey, welcome back. It is time for an update on Naaman. Look how big. I would have done an update sooner, but my work day changed quite a bit, and I did not have a whole lot of time to take breaks, or breathe, or eat, or anything, and sometimes you get to take time off. So, here's Naaman. Hello, baby. Naaman is doing great. Um, the last videos I mentioned that there were flukes in the fecal and coccidia. <clears throat> And I've been treating for those. So the vet gave some treatment for the coccidia and for the other parasites. And when you treat for everything, there's always something that will creep back up even stronger. So it's good to treat and then check and then treat and then check. And by check, I mean, you know, do a fecal. Um, yes, aren't you pretty? Looking at my face, looking right into my eyes. I love that about dragons. They look right in your eyes when they want to, right? Aren't you pretty? So Naaman is, let's see, when I got her, she was about 20 grams. And she's about 60 grams now. So growing really well. I've uh, been feeding dubias and mealworms and vegetables. Loves zucchini. You know what she's looking at? That plate right there she's got a great appetite and you move around really well too very excitable I'm gonna open the door looking at my hand yep opening the door what you thinking are you gonna move around for us I think everybody wants to see you move yeah but really even though I'm treating these things and I'm treating for the flukes <clears throat> she is doing great moving around really well um and that's really what we were gonna watch out for is like her quality of life you know i can feed her great and you know give her the best care in the world but how she grows is really going to be the test what you doing you gonna move you gonna show everybody how you move because you move really well so that quality of life she is getting bigger but look how thick her tail is Look at that. Her tail is, she's using it like a leg. Propping herself up on the, you know, on the, the log and the platform and the little cave I've got covered with a blanket. I have that covered with a blanket so she can hang on with her nails since she doesn't have back legs. And she did really like that when I first put it in there. But it's interesting how her tail is, it seems to me to be pretty thick compared to her body, but she's using it a lot. And I really wish you would move around so everybody can see you. That's the big question, and how does the, the dragon that most likely just has birth defects move around? Now, I realize this could have been a stuck shed thing, but they're both very even on both sides. So, I... Could have been born that way, but either way, it was so early on. You know, she has her way to move around. Would you please move around? Please do something. Come on. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I have to tease you with the food bowls? Yeah, see? So she moves the back legs. You can see that. See that? She does move those back legs as if she's familiar with the use of back legs. Anyway... She's doing great. I'm moving the bowl back and forth. This is so mean. I'm going to feed her some dubias after this. I don't like teasing animals, even if it is to get them to do something. Something that's not harmful. Such a sweetie pie. But I'll tell you something. Um, learning how to do those fecals was a big deal. Because you, that stuff doesn't show up in every single fecal. There's a life cycle to the parasites. And you might have your vet do a fecal during a time of the life cycle where you're not going to see a lot. And they might say, well, there's only one pinworm right now. You know, they might not want to treat when there's only one pinworm. Because you don't want to treat stuff that's not a big deal. Because they do have parasites sometimes. Please move around. Put that in there. What you doing? Every time I get the camera, I want her to move and she won't. But I just want you to know, she's doing great. 
Um, I used something that I got on beardeddragonco.com. Um, they have meds for coccidia. They have meds for the other parasites. Um, they've got a lot of good stuff on there and the instructions on how the dosages, the correct dosages. So I had to be a little bit creative with the syringes that I measured with and how I gave the meds. I usually did it with greens because they're not running around and might flip on their back and the, the medicine get smeared on the bowl. That was happening before. So I will mix, I will uh, tear up some greens, turnip greens or collard greens, and I'll put some drops on those leaves and then put another leaf on top. So the med is there. It's not going to drip away. And she eats all of her greens, so it's pretty good. Okay, how about a better shot of you? Hey, Muffin. Really, she's doing so great. And for those of you that donated and helped me pay for the tank, I'll tell you, it's thank you that that was a a big expense new tanks are not cheap and no i'm not getting a used tank because parasites live a long time in these tanks and to be fair she very well could have gotten parasites from the previous tank she could have got parasites from the bugs in the yard it could have been from the feeder bugs that you buy it could have been from the the produce from the grocery you know i mean cold tap water is not going to rinse that off is it and Plants are grown outside where there are bugs. Bugs lay their eggs where there's going to be food, which is on those leafy greens. So just because you order feeders and you trust your feeder company or you trust the store or you think buying organic means there's not going to be bugs on it. No, they can get parasites everywhere. They can get parasites from a used tank um, because, you know, they, they lick the floor. They lick everything. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Okay, so you're just not going to do anything. Very food focused, aren't you? I'm going to go feed her some dubias. Oh, boy. <laughs> She's doing great, though, and if anyone else wants to donate, I've got a one-time donation link below uh, for PayPal and for Venmo. And thanks to the folks that connected with me on Facebook and on Instagram, and those of you who leave comments here, if you've got questions or anything at all, or if there's something you want to see a video on, just let me know. Thank you all so much, and Naaman says thank you as well. You're just doing great, little bean. You are. Come here. Look at these beautiful colors. Look at those pretty colors. Mm -hmm. All right. Have a good day. We'll see you next time.